my God, I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. Oh, worth it. Totally worth it. That previous clip was a depiction of Clementine Ford's Twitter thought process. If you don't know who Clementine Ford is, consider yourself fortunate and blessed because good old Clem here is one of Australia's most obnoxious feminists. Apart from maybe Van Batten. After what turned out to be just a break from the complete headache that is Clementine brand drama, Australia, and this time even the world, has been forced to endure yet another nauseating instalment. A couple of weeks ago, she posted this to Twitter, and every normal person's reaction was a varying degree of Oh my god! Now for those of you who are newly exposed to the rather twisted mind of Clementine Ford Don't look so shocked! This is not new or unusual behaviour for her. She has a lengthy and colourful history of rubbing people the wrong way, and her apologies are about as sincere as an MSNBC report. Yes, we get that godforsaken channel down here in Australia. In this most recent case, however, Clementine only apologised when she discovered that a grant she had been awarded by the Melbourne City Council to write her new book had come under review. And honestly, it reads a lot like this. I said I was sorry! Sorry you're such jerks! Ha <laughs> ha! See for yourself. Of course, the grant can't and shouldn't really be revoked on this basis because this compromises free speech. But as YouTuber Daisy Cousins pointed out on Sky News, which was about all the coverage this story got in Australia. If Clementine had made those comments about black people or about Jewish people or about Asian people or about gay people or about trans people or about any other woman, she would have lost that arts funding like that. No questions asked and everyone would have been on board. But again, since it's about men, it's apparently okay. So whichever way you scratch it, Andrew, this is just a massive, yeah. massive expose of that raging double standard that goes through public discourse nowadays. And herein lies the problem. Clementine is free to be as dismissive, abusive and hypocritical as she pleases with little to no consequence because she identifies as a victim who is fighting back, despite the fact that life is actually pretty f***ing good for women in Australia. In her mind, a woman's suffering will always trump that of a man's. She's as third wave as you can get. I don't like third wave feminism. It doesn't represent me and, ladies, this doesn't mean I have internalised misogyny or that I'm desperate for male approval. Okay? As for Clementine, well, I won't bore you with her views on rape culture or the wage gap. The woman can barely string a sentence together. But I will tell you that her appalling views on men are not shared by most women in Australia. Most women in Australia love and deeply care for men and are saddened and distressed to know that they are at higher risk of death due to COVID-19 than women. A pandemic simply isn't the time to be worrying about women's rights, especially when you have all of them already. People are dying. Clementine, I'm not going to tell you to get off Twitter or to stop expressing yourself. You do you. But I will kindly ask you to stop being a bitch. Tomorrow, I'll be covering the highlights of the NASA SpaceX launch for my next video, so make sure you check that out. See you then. Bye.